to first start off with, you all are very successful STEM scientists within your respective fields. I'm sure the path to success wasn't always easy. What were some obstacles you faced in your STEM education or profession? In my case, my uh, world was dominated by males. Uh, for instance, in the chemistry class, I was one of the few girls who were in the chemistry class because all the ladies were afraid of sciences, but the passion and the drive for the uh, sciences just drove me on and on. The main obstacle coming from, for example, Arabic country and African country, it's the society. So the obstacle could be my own self. Sometimes maybe I would have not given my best. Yeah, I think that's a really good point to bring up is sometimes as women, we are our own obstacles because society pushes certain norms on us. And so what advice do you all have for girls who are interested in going into the STEM field but might feel discouraged by their society or community norms? You just dream and pursue through that. I can see trust and believe what you are and what you can do. Why do you think it's important for specifically girls to be encouraged to go into the STEM field? Yeah, it's just like a ripple effect. You educate a woman, you are educating the entire world altogether. It's very, very important that we encourage and uh, pursue through the education of STEM for women. I think that's women, more women in STEM field because uh, they can um, have the uh, social development. Yes. We need more women in uh, STEM because uh, I believe that women have um, emotional intelligence and we need this kind of intelligence in, in science, technology, engineering, and etc. So what are specific things that I as a teenager or anyone can do to prom help promote girls to go into the STEM field? Women in sciences need to speak out a bit more and uh, be seen by the world because uh, when girls get to see people who are in STEM and successfully so, they also aspire to go into it. Speaking of activism, what are ways that you all have implemented social good or activism within your STEM careers? In my country, I have a, a lot of women who make the groups, STEM group, yes, for women, uh, and train, have a many course training them to become the mentor and train the student to become mentor for other children in my country. In uh, Egypt, we have uh, counselors in each school. They help students to go to other schools that spread the culture of STEM and make exam uh, activities or maybe experience and in, to uh, help students from the younger students and girls to join these STEM schools and to know about STEM itself. Girls love it, you know, meeting a professor who is an engineer, for them it's a wow time. So the response has been very encouraging. It's very positive. It's adding a lot of um, reality to them because they are seeing the women who are in the STEM careers as well. It's an inspiring time for girls, but also for their family. We give family trust to, uh, to future of their daughter and their girls in, in STEM. Men and women in STEM complete each other. So we, 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 we should not have this, uh, this conflict in, uh, in STEM. We work for, uh, for an, um, an objective, precise objective that promotes science and technology, engineering and mathematics in our society. So we should work together to, 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 to do it. It's not just STEM, but it's in every field that women should be breaking the barriers and we should be given, you know, an opportunity to not just be in those fields, but also leaders. Well, it was great to all talk to you guys. are all amazing, trailblazing uh, women in STEM. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day here at Disneyland. Thank you. Thank you. So Thank you. Much.